Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm really glad you could join us today. So today we're going to be doing a 10 minute cleaning thing. Um, with fibro it's very hard to keep sustained effort. And so what we're going to do today, because Storm is at school, is we're going to do 10 minutes per room and that's it. If it's not finished, it's not finished. And Dirk and I are going to try and do that every day and see if that is an easier routine for me to keep up with with the fibro. So, like this doesn't include washing or dishwashing or anything like that, but it includes spot vacuuming, spot mopping, doesn't include deep cleaning, just keeping it tight, clean, tidy, and um, just nice. Um, somewhere for Stormy to play, make it a bit more relaxing for me and Dirk. Uh, something that we've always struggled with is ha um, finding a cleaning routine that works for both me and Dirk. Um, Dirk's very, because of his um, autistic spectrum disorder, he's very, go get him, I want it done now. And whereas I'm like, hmm, I don't know, I really have the spoons for this today. <laughs> Um, or I'm really tired, or I'm really sore, and it gets very difficult for him, and for me, I get very frustrated that my body won't do what I want it to do, so we're going to try this 10 minutes, I can do it throughout the day, I don't have to do it all at once, I am today, because I'm running out of time, um, but um, we're going to do it together, so it's really 20 minutes, like human time, human effort whatever per room but we're going to try and do this so that it's um a bit more equal um between the physical stuff because Dirk does a lot of the physical stuff like getting wood and stuff like that and I'd like it to be a little bit more equal so that's what we're going to try and do so we'll see we'll take you along for it I always like to start in the bedroom and make the bed. I know a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, just for some reason it makes me feel like I've accomplished something already. I just got those cushions and they are the cutest thing ever, as far as I'm concerned anyway. One of my goals for this year is to read more, and I've actually read enough from my bedside table ready list pile thing to actually put all my books, bar the one I'm reading at the moment, which is um, Becoming by Michelle Obama, up along the wall where they're actually supposed to go, so yay me! While I'm tackling my bedside table, Dirk is doing his on the other side of the bed. I thought I'd start trying to get my jewellery in some semblance of order because I tend to just chuck it there and so does Dirk. So I started, didn't finish, but I started. So this is the after of our room. Our room wasn't overly messy, but 10 minutes was enough to dust our bedside tables, make the bed. Didn't get the vacuum, but maybe tomorrow. So this is Stormy's room before. She's had quite some fun over the last couple of days trashing her room. So we will have 10 minutes in here, and like our room, I don't think we will be able to get it vacuumed, but we shall see. Won't we, Duck? Yes, we shall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ten minutes on the clock. Mm -hmm. Apologies for the jerkiness in the last clip. For some reason, my tripod was really sticky, so I am going to fix that, and so it doesn't happen again. So sorry again. As you can tell, Miss Stormy loves her stuffed teddy bears. This is after we'd thrown out 
two big garbage bags full of teddy bears. So, the kid's got a lot. And then she also loves her baby dolls, so her baby doll stuff's all over the floor. That dinosaur is a hand-me-down from her brother and she loves it so much and her brother actually got it off our, her great-grandmother so it's like a family heirloom at this point I think. Okay so as expected didn't get the vacuuming done but all the toys are off the floor so it does need a vacuum but that's okay. I've put Dinosaur to bed like Stormy likes, otherwise she gets upset because he get, he'll get cold. Um, tidied up her toys on her bed so she's got a bit more room. And so it's ready for when she gets home from school today. On to the next room. So this is our very messy lounge room. There's baby dolls everywhere, there's toys everywhere. We're potty train, starting to potty train Stormy, so that's out here. Our couches are a mess. Everything's just a mess. So, we're going to get started on this. You can't see it properly on the camera, but there is a crap ton of dust on this entertainment unit. I hadn't dusted it for about three weeks at this point because of Dirk being sick and stuff. So it really needed to be done. At this point my back is really really starting to hurt. I have a problem with my back at the moment which we're trying to fix with therapies. But at this point it's really hurting. So that's why I kicked the coffee table rather than just pushed it. Also, I'm getting these gorgeous navy blue couch covers for the double seater couch and for the single seater couch. They're being shipped over from the US. I cannot wait to get them and I'll make sure that I put them in a video next time like when they come. But we didn't want to replace the loungers even though like they're getting old because one my one, one of my best friends gave me the single seater and the other one's just really comfy, like super duper comfy. And we don't want to replace it at this point in time. Also coming up is um, I'm going to re be refurbishing our coffee table. So if you would like to see that, make sure you subscribe and get notified so you don't miss out. All right, so this is the the after. Still not perfect at all by any means, but it is progress. And as Jordan Page from FunChipOfFreeze.com says, progress, not perfection. So we're good for the moment. We'll probably finish it up later after Stormy goes to bed, but we have a time limit and we've got to go pick up Stormy from preschool soon and we still have three rooms to go. So the bathroom is next on the list. Doesn't look like there's much to be done in here, but there's a little bit. It needs to be tidied, and um, the toilet needs to be done and stuff, and in here needs to be cleaned as well, where Stormy has her bath and we have our showers, obviously. So this is a very, very small space. So apologies if the angles aren't great, but we'll try our best. We don't actually have a bath, um, so Stormy actually has her bath in a storage container that she fits into. Not for much longer, unfortunately, because she's growing like a weed, but that's what I meant by bath. So she enjoys that way, otherwise she has a shower with me.
that round UFO looking thingy um, on the right there is actually a oil diffuser. It's about 20 bucks from Kmart if you want to pick up one. I hate toilet cleaning I, and I'm sure most of you actually don't like looking at people to cleaning toilets but that's what I did and I'll make it as quick as I can. The toilet seat had actually come loose so I'm tightening up the screws there to make sure it doesn't fall off. So this is the after, as I said not much difference but it looks neater and tidier, especially the job that Dirk did in, whoop, 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 tripod stuck, ah, uh, in the shower, tidied up all the toys so Stormy can have a nice bath tonight. So I'm all sweaty. We got one, two, three, four rooms out of six done. Um, the office will have to wait and the kitchen will be done tonight as part of our nightly ritual anyway. So we'll just have to do a little bit more. Um, but we've done that and now we have to go get Stormy. So that will be it. For this one I hope it helped you get motivated and maybe gave you some ideas on how to deal with keeping a routine with a chronic illness or even just if you're busy um, we will see you next time bye that's it guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you really really liked it subscribe and please continue to join us on our travels bye <laughs>